Hello again. It's Wednesday. That sounded like I was answering the phone. <laughs> um, uh, okay. Um, I know I'm going to talk about something. <laughs> I have to sneeze. <coughs> mm. Ugh. That was unbecoming. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Uh, speaking of I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going to try and not do that so much. Um, I, I got a comment about don't be so afraid of trolls. So I'm, I'm going to work on that. Um, truthfully, it's not like I really care. It's just it was my first video and I want people to keep coming back. Um, but I'm kind of that... I've, I've always been that person and if if you don't agree with me that's fine you're you can have your own opinion um as long as you respect my opinion if you don't respect my opinion then I won't respect you um <laughs> give what you get pretty much um and get what you give so I, I I expect respect from people when I speak my opinion and and um but that's neither here nor there um <laughs> probably going to end up talking about music again, um, because music is amazing. Um, so yeah, here we go. Um, I just got an email that said I was accepted to, um, the Interlochen summer program. Very excited. Um, <laughs> I get to go to Interlochen, Michigan for a week and, um, do a bunch of bassoon stuff, which is one of the instruments that I play. Um, I play several. <laughs> um, currently I play bassoon, clarinet, um, bassoon and clarinet. Those are my two main instruments. I am in the process of teaching myself how to play trombone. Um, and I'll probably be getting air quote lessons, um, from a friend of mine. Um, and I try and play piano. I really do. And I fail at it completely. Like I can play my right hand. I can play whatever's in there if it's relatively simple-ish. Um, I can play my left hand by itself. Try and put them together. And it's really bad. It's really bad. Unless I work on it for like two weeks. Just to get the first like three measures with both hands. Um, it's kind of ridiculous. Um, and that kind of leans into uh, what I was gonna uh, talk about otherwise. Um, sorry. Uh, mm, did not need to do that. <laughs> um, I know. Anyway, um, drum major stuff is what I was gonna talk about. Um, as you'll come to figure out, I'm a big marching band fan. Love marching band. I one of the the, the like I'm I've been looking at colleges. Yes, I know I'm a sophomore and I'm looking at colleges already. I was doing this when I was in eighth grade. <laughs> it was yes, I was looking at colleges when I was in eighth grade. Or did I start in seventh? Either way, it was early. Um, people gave me weird looks. <clears throat> um, but anyway, so I've been looking at colleges, and I'm like, you have to have a marching band, and if you don't have a, a good marching band, then I'm not going to look at your school, and so, although that's probably a poor reason not to look at a school, um, but that's besides the point. Um, but anyway, so I, I'm, I'm planning on auditioning for drum major, and of my high school's marching band, and very excited. Uh, well, actually, I'm excited and I'm very, very nervous, and I'll tell you why, because there's the interview, or the interview, that's part of our audition. We have to do a 15-minute interview with Weber and whatever, um, but there is our two other parts. We have to conduct a song that we've chosen, which is fine, but we also have to do, like, crescendos, decrescendos, um and show that with our hands, um, and I'm very, like I said, very bad at having my hands be independent of each other, um, I'm, um, 
or not very bad, I'm just not good. <laughs> um, I, I have a hard time with it. Uh, I'm not the ambide ambidextrous person. Um, so, so there's that. I'm nervous about that. Um, I actually have to work on that. And then there's the marching part, and there's all these commands that we have to do, and your marching has to be air quote perfect and everything, and based on recovery and all of this, and blah, 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 blah. Um, no one probably cares except for the eight people who are, who are auditioning. Again, I can speak, uh, I promise. <laughs> um, but back to interlocking, because I didn't really finish my thoughts on that. Um, interlocking, oh my god, I'm so excited. That that um it interlocking during the school year is a um music arts high school boarding high school i believe um um and they're fantastic it's they're such a good school uh, well from what i heard hmm. uh, excuse me from what i've heard uh they're they're a very good very good school um their their summer program. I talked to my private lesson teacher about it and she was like, if you can get in, go. Um because because um and so I'm I'm very excited. I get to spend the week um learning music, learning new techniques, learning how to make a read, which would really be helpful because reads are expensive. <laughs> um Yeah, so, um, yeah, so, I got very excited today, um, because I was in choir today, um, at my school, I switch back and forth between choir and band every other day, because I have them the same period, um, well, it's not really a period, I have them the same, at the same time, because I have them before school, um, uh, so, I was in, I was in choir today, um, and, we were singing through our piece and whatever and and I got very excited because I knew I was singing correctly because I could feel it vibrating in my nose and that may sound weird to people who don't sing but you're supposed to be able to feel things vibrating in your nose when you're singing correctly because that means you've got it placed correctly in your mouth and or have the vowel sorry um have the vowel placed correctly in your mouth um and yeah, so I was very excited for that because um, I was singing correctly and I sounded pretty. Um, so did the rest of the choir, actually. We're sounding really, really good. Um, we're singing a hard piece. Uh, we're singing Gloria by John something. And I know the composer and I can't remember. It's three movements and four. 46, 47 pages long? Something like that. Um, but it's it's very cool. And I, I really like the third movement. I think everyone does. We're all, we're, we, we enjoy the third movement. Um, it's a very cool third movement. I mean, like, it gets all energized and everything. So, um, yeah, so, uh, the, co the composition of this piece is beautiful. Um, it's a little ridiculous at times, but it's beautiful. And I figured out, um, over my spring break actually, um, which was last week, uh, that if I wanted to, I could sing all the parts of the music. And I mean like all the parts. Yes, I just did mean. Anyway. <laughs> um I can sing soprano one, soprano two, alto one, alto two, tenor one, tenor two, bass one, bass two. Yeah. Um, the only note that I cannot hit is the low F on bass clef. So if you're looking at the staff, um, the five lines, um, then the low F, for those of you who don't read bass clef, is right below the staff. Um, and it's it's extra low and I can't hit that but everything else I can hit which I think is kind of scary I have a very large range um but anyway so and, and yeah so um mm -hmm. music 
this is probably all stuff that no one really cares about. Um, anyway, uh, so I got a comment on my last video, and it wasn't actually on my video, it was on my Facebook post of the video. Um, someone told me that I should bring more examples of like bands that influence me. Um, up and so at this point I'm going to do that. Um, one band that really influences my my taste in music um, the, the, is um, Foo Fighters. Uh, they are phenomenal. I love them with a passion. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, so they're they're really good. Um, and and a reason like one of the main reasons that I really really like them is because. Well, first of all, Dave Grohl is just amazing, and, and, <laughs> uh, but their musicianship, um, is ridiculous. I mean, each one of them plays their instrument. They all, they, they actually know how to play guitar, not just sit there and strum. Um, they, and, and their musicianship is very is amazing and um their lyrics I mean there are some that I sit there and I go what um <laughs> but their lyrics for for quite a few songs are just like well that's that's really cool actually um one of the songs that I really like from them is uh these days off their new album well newer album waking light I think that's what it's called um, but, and, and yeah, so I really like that song, and it's really good. I think it's on, on one of my top played, uh, on my iPod. Um, another band that, another band that influences me. I actually just recently started listening to, um, 6AM, um, their, their album, Heroin Diaries and their album, This Is Gonna Hurt, um, really good music. It, it tells a story, I mean, and it's kind of supposed to, it goes along with a book, or two books, actually, that they have, um, or that there are, um, so, but it's, it's really good, and one of my favorites is, um, on This Is Gonna Hurt, their song, Skin, and it's about like, basically they're saying, um, you are not your skin. They're ta he's talking about a girl who has a bunch of scars and people just kind of see the scars and not who she really is. Um, and, or not what she can be either. Um, and so the main line is, you are not your skin. Um, there's one line in there, kill them with your kindness. Um, and I'm just like, well, well that's 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 really cool I mean that speaks out to a lot of people in in different ways like I know I was in a talent show in um, middle school sixth grade sixth grade and I was wearing something and it wasn't seven either way um I was wearing something and someone asked me about the scars that I have on my legs because because they were like are you okay and I'm like yeah no I just have skin that scars easily I don't heal well um, when it comes to stuff like that so I have a bunch of scars everywhere and people kind of look people who don't know me already kind of look at me and go hmm are you are you someone who cuts and does damaging things to your body and I don't um, I really, I, I, I don't, um, I don't do that stuff, uh, but, and it's just like, well, in a way that speaks out to me, I mean, it's just like reminding me that I am not what people see, and, and that does a lot for me in, in a lot of ways, I mean, because there are some days where I, like, even, even drifting away from the scars and stuff, it's like, there are definitely days, and as there are days for everyone else, where you just don't feel beautiful. 
like you don't feel pretty you don't feel like you mean anything um even if someone acts acts like they feel like that all the time it's a lie <laughs> Um, for the most part. I mean, there are definitely some people who are extra confident and like, I am amazing. Um, and that is fine and they can be that way. Um, it can be a little obnoxious sometimes, but that's besides the point. <laughs> um, and I'm probably talking really fast. Um, but no, there, there are days where I'm just like, I'm not, I don't feel pretty or beautiful, um, or I don't want to say worthless because I don't think I've ever felt truly well there may have been one or two days where I felt truly worthless um but having that kind of I don't mean anyone to or I, I don't mean anyone to anything no I don't mean anything to anyone um one of those kind of things and this is getting to be a really long video um, but listening to that song, it's like reminding me at least that I'm not what people see. I'm not what you see. So if I'm listening to it and thinking of it in terms of myself, like I'm not what I see. Um, I, I am worth something. I, I do mean something to someone, um, um. I am pretty beautiful, whatever word you want to use. Um, and definitely in a different way. It's just, it's not, I don't feel I'm blatantly pretty, but everyone, every, and this is turning into like, every girl is beautiful. Um, but I mean, in their own way, they are. I mean, you're unique, and that's what make, makes you beautiful, is your differences. Um, and I see that in people, like, I don't just look at their appearance. I, I look at their personality, and someone's person, un, well, unless they're obnoxious, someone's personality is what makes them beautiful. And I mean, even, even obnoxious people are beautiful in their personality because it's something that's different and it may rub me the wrong way but it may be perfect for someone else and and so um and so this is 17 minutes long uh well actually about 18 minutes long so I'm gonna wrap up now and I will actually plan on what I'm gonna talk about for next week um and yeah so I will talk to you guys later um hope you have a good week and yeah, find the music in every day and find your inspiration. That's my advice. That's my advice for the week. So see ya.